Good morning. Welcome to Wingate on this absolutely beautiful spring day. I'm sure that you've heard that the weather is always perfect here, the birds are always singing, and the flowers are always in bloom. We're very glad to have you here. My name is Martha Asty. I'm the Vice President for Academic Affairs at Wingate. This is my 31st year at Wingate. I've seen a lot of wonderful growth and development, and we're so glad that you and your family are interested in being part of our family at Wingate. I wanted to spend just a moment today talking with you about how Wingate addresses high impact educational practices. These are practices that have been determined in higher education through research to improve the quality of experience of students, to help them retain knowledge, to enhance their learning experience, and to create overall a better opportunity for them to succeed. In your packet, you have a flyer on high impact educational practices. I wanted to go one bullet at a time and very briefly point out to you how Wingate addresses these practices in the hope of providing the best quality experience for students. You'll have the opportunity throughout the day to hear more about these practices, so possibly my remarks this morning will help you determine exactly how you want to spend the rest of your day. First of all, we do have a first year seminar required as a graduation requirement for all students. This is called Gateway 101, and there are options for sessions at 10.30 and 12.15 for you with our Director of Academic Advising and Support, John Sugg. He will be discussing the components of the first year seminars. First year seminars are more than orientation seminars. They meet throughout the semester. They address social matters as well as academic matters. And they also have a service learning component in them. They are taught by a faculty member. They have had some advising components and they essentially help the student to orient to academic life and social life at Wingate. That's a one hour course that will begin immediately after orientation in the fall. The next is a common intellectual experience. We have a lot of common intellectual experiences at Wingate. We address this on several levels. First of all, we have a core curriculum that all of our students must take in order to graduate. And embedded in that core curriculum is an 18-hour global perspectives part, which includes history, religion, English, political science, economics, and ethics, taught from a global perspective, a worldwide perspective to help our, our students understand cultures outside of our own. Also, a, a very interesting common intellectual experience we've added in the last few years is the common reading program called WIRE, Wingate Reading Experience. In the common reading program, all first year students, all incoming students are sent a book over the summer with a letter requesting that they read the book prior to coming to Wingate. Our entire community reads the book, our faculty all read the book, staff members read the book, and we bring the author of the book to campus to address the students and the community. This year's book is entitled, Where Am I Wearing? It's by a man named Kelsey Timmerman. And it was chosen because it has an international perspective. And the author of the book is willing and available to come to our campus and interact with students about why he wrote the book. In this case, Kelsey Timmerman is an author a young author who was dressing one day and looked at the labels in his clothing and said, nothing I'm wearing was made in the United States of America. I need to find out about this. So he went on this quest and he went to all the locations where his clothes were made. He went to the Middle East, he went to, uh, excuse me, Southeast Asia, he went to China, and he found out during that experience that 99% of our clothes are made outside of the country. So his book is all about this, and we'll be talking about what does this mean globally? How are we interdependent as a country with other cultures through the reading of this book? Our first year seminar will deal with the book, 
and all first year students will attend the lecture and that Kelsey Timmerman will be giving on September 21st. So we view that as a particularly bonding way for our entire community, not just our first year students, to have a common intellectual experience. In the fall, we are attempting to link courses. This is under the bullet learning communities so that students will have a cohort of courses with the same group of students. This has been determined to be a way for students to get to know one another better, to bond with other students, to have more of a, an intellectual core going forth, a common core with which they can uh, study together, discuss common issues academically, and during, through which the faculty members can address the concerns of the same students. So our goal is to link the, the first year experience with some of the global perspectives courses for students. We also have a writing intensive course in every major. The writing center helps students with writing assignments. If you actually look at the peer tutoring program in your flyer as well, you'll see information about not just tutors in writing, but tutors in all disciplines for students. Students write not just in English classes, but in other courses as well. So throughout the four years at Wingate, they will have many assignments, written assignments, and they may take those assignments for help to the writing center. We have specialty tutors, writing tutors, addressing those specific particular needs. We also have team-based approach and, and a lot of our pedagogy, collaborative assignments and projects that's determined that this helps students understand one another by listening seriously to the insights of others. They learn to respect different backgrounds and life experiences as we all come together and talk about our perspectives on common issues. Undergraduate research, we have a symposium every year for our students to cert to present their undergraduate research projects. This year we had 60 students present on April 15th, which is just, excuse me, April 13th, which was just earlier this week. We had students from all disciplines. They were presenting with the sponsorship of a faculty mentor. Some of those projects actually have been turned into papers and published in our Wingate University undergraduate research journal. We've started publishing our own journal of students' undergraduate research projects. And I know your students aren't quite there yet because you're trying to graduate from high school and start college, but down the road a few years, many of our students do get involved in undergraduate research. We find this a great way to prepare for graduate school, a great way to build credentials, a, a good credential building opportunity. And we also have the opportunity for students to conduct summer research with a faculty member. We have a project called Wingate University Summer Research Program. In this program, both the student and the faculty member are given a stipend for their work in the summer on a project they agree together to pursue. At the end of that experience, the student is given some funding to travel to a conference to present the results of the research. Right now, today, we have a student presenting at the National Council of Undergraduate Research in Missoula, Montana. We had one present yesterday and one present day before yesterday at this conference. So these were students who began their research in the summer and it's grown and developed into opportunities that they can present national to national audiences. We do a very good job with global learning, the next bullet. You might have heard of our Winter National Program which has been uh, offered at Wingate since the late 70s. It's a 10 day opportunity for students to travel between semesters or at the very end of the semester after commencement. All juniors with a 2.0 are eligible to go on these trips and they have minimal surcharges. 
If you want to know about these trips, I suggest you go at either at 10.30 or at 12.15 to hear our International Studies Director talk about the, the opportunities. In May, just in a few weeks, we have three groups going on winter national trips to Taiwan, Germany, and Chile. But in addition to that, we have students all over the world for semester programs. We've had students this year in Hong Kong, in Copenhagen. Just in the next few weeks, we'll be sending students to New Zealand as a field trip uh, at the conclusion of a, of a course on literature of New Zealand. We'll be sending a large group of students to Australia for three weeks to talk about sport in Australia. Our choir is touring South Africa in May. And can you believe some of our students are going to both New Zealand and South Africa? They're going from one trip to another. And we have a good group of students doing an immersion program in Costa Rica. We also have students pursuing internships beginning right after commencement in London, Costa Rica, and Chile. So that's just a sample of the opportunities we have. These are just the ones getting ready to depart right now. Every year we have different opportunities and so many of our students take advantage of those. Service learning, community-based learning, our motto at Wingate is knowledge, faith, and service, and we take that very seriously. We do embed service opportunities in our Gateway 101 seminar. In addition to that, we have a service office that provides all kinds of opportunities. I'm sure you'll be hearing about that throughout the day. And our internship program, another common experience, experiential and important uh, program for Wingate. We are actually increasing our resources and internships. There are sessions today with our director of internships, Sharon Robinson, if you're interested in this. Many of our students pursue internships for academic credit. Some for, do not pursue academic credit, but they still have a monitored internship. We have internships through the semester, in the summer, in-class internships, many, many different formats. We've made a commitment to internships through our quality enhancement program uh, with our Southern Association of Schools and Colleges. So this is something that's ongoing and developing and improving every year. We're getting more uh, sites every year. And capstone courses and projects vary by discipline. Some include internships. Some are projects such as art shows. Our, our student, we have three senior art students who are launching a show just in a few days. Some of our music majors culminate their event, their time with recitals. We have uh, exit exams that are often culminating projects, papers, all kinds of ways to have capstones in the various majors. Does anyone have a question for me about any of those components? Thank you so much for being here today. It's our pleasure to welcome you to Wingate.